Hi everyone, in this video I will be taking you through all the types of pie charts that you can make in PowerPoint. So there are five types of pie charts that you can make in PowerPoint. The first one is a standard pie chart. Second one is a 3D pie chart. The third one is called a pie of a pie. So essentially you will have a first level pie chart and then a section of that pie chart is projected onto a second pie chart. The fourth type of pie chart you can make is a bar of pi. This is very similar to the pi of pi, except that instead of the second pie chart, you have a vertical stack bar chart like so. And the fifth and final type of pie chart that you can make is a donut pie chart. So let's begin with a standard pie chart. To create a standard pie chart, go to insert, go to chart, locate pi. And the very first pie chart that you see on the left hand side is your standard pie chart. So click OK and let's look at different elements of this pie chart. So here we have a data sheet. This is where you will be entering all your data of the pie chart. Then we have the chart itself. We have the title of the chart at the top. We have the legend of the chart. So what each color means is specified by the legend. So here you can see the blue color is first quarter. You will also notice in your data sheet, the first quarter data is 8.2. So the size of this pie is proportional or is based on the number that you specify in the data sheet. Similarly, you have the four more data points here, second quarter, third and fourth, which are represented in this pie chart here. So orange is second quarter, the gray color is third quarter and the yellow is fourth. Now let's close the data sheet for now. Let's single click on the chart. In the top right hand corner, we see a plus sign. Click on it. We see that there are three chart elements under this option. So first one is chart title. So if you want to change formatting for our chart title, you would need to come here and click on more options. You'll see there are different formatting options we have. The first one is fill. This is for the background color of this title then border is for the box we have a secondary option for the text itself so whatever formatting you might be interested in doing to this text itself you will have to come here and change that formatting here let's close this let's go back to the plus option now we have the second option called data labels that's unchecked for us right now let's check that as soon as you check this option you see that the values have appeared in our pie chart these are a little difficult to see right now. So let's change the color of these by going to the home menu, locating the font color. Let's make this white. Let's increase the size to say 18. If you want to change the position of these numbers from say close to the edge of the pie chart to the center, you can just double click these numbers. And on the right hand side, you will see that label options have appeared. At the bottom, you will see label position change from best fit to center. And our values are now in center. Let's say if you want these values outside of the chart, you'll have to click on outside end. Since the font is in white color, we can't see it right now. So let's go back to home font color, change it to black and there. Now let's say if you don't want to show this legend and instead want these data labels next to our numbers all you have to do is under label options click on category name and there you will see that our labels have appeared next to our numbers we don't need the legend so click on the legend once go to our plus sign at the bottom we have the legend option let's uncheck that and you see that the legend has disappeared. Now let's look at what more you can do with the pie chart. Let's reduce the size a little. Click near the chart here or so. You'll see that another square has appeared. Now this is the chart area. If you want to increase the chart size, you can either increase it by dragging your arrow from the corner of the outside bounding box but you could also do that by clicking in the inside bounding box of the chart and dragging this option like so. So you have both options to increase the chart size. Uh, let's double click on the chart. 
You see that on the right hand side we have two more options that have appeared. First is angle of first slice. This allows you to rotate the chart. Let's bring this blue part, you know, horizontally. So let's keep increasing this like so. Now the pie explosion allows you to separate your pies from the circle. So if I just increase this by a few numbers, you see that the pies have separated. This can be a useful feature if you are trying to highlight a specific value from the pie chart. However, I have a better option for you in such cases. Let's just make this to zero. Now let's say I want to highlight fourth quarter. Now instead of increasing pie explosion for all of these pies, I just want to highlight this. So click on this chart once, then click on the pie that you want to separate one more time. Now you see that only our pie has been selected right now. And hold down your left mouse button and drag your pie like so. So you see that now we can specifically highlight this one pie from our pie chart. So I find this option much more useful rather than using the pie explosion option. One last thing I would mention for this pie chart is to get the data labels options or the data series options, I had shown you that you had to double click on the chart or the labels to get that option on the right hand side. There is another option to get the same options by right clicking on the chart. So right click, let's say if you wanted to edit or the format data labels, you would go here and click on format data labels. You'll see that the same options have appeared on the right hand side. Next up, let's make a 3D pie chart. Now 3D pie chart is exactly similar to a regular pie chart, except that it's in three dimensions. So let's create one, go to insert, click on chart, locate pie, select the second chart from left, click OK. We have our 3D pie chart. Everything about a 3D pie chart is similar to a regular pie chart. So I won't be showing you how to format the data labels or change the colors or change font sizes here. If you need a refresher on that, please go back and watch the pie chart tutorial. Here, I will show you what's unique about this chart, which is the 3D aspect. So double click on the chart, go to effects, click on 3D format. Here are most of your 3D settings. So you can change the material of this chart. So you can make a translucent pie chart. There are a few effects here. So I would recommend you play around with these settings and see what works for you best. What I will show you is how to change the perspective of this chart and how to rotate this chart. So double click on this chart. If you go under effects, we don't have the option for 3D rotation. To enable that option, just click close to the chart until this inner bounding box appears. Then you'll see that on the right hand side, we have this 3D rotation option. Twirl that open under perspective. If you change the perspective, you'll see that the perspective of the chart changes. If you change the Y rotation, the chart moves in the Y axis direction. So if I make this say 90 degrees, it just becomes a regular pie chart. If I decrease these values, it goes in the other direction until we see a side view like so. If we change the X rotation, the chart will just rotate around the central axis. This is similar to our angle of first slice option that we saw for the pie chart. Now let's say if you wanted to increase the height of our pie chart, make sure that the auto scale option is unchecked, then increase the height. And you'll see that this turns into a cylinder. Feel free to play around with these options and see what works for you. But that's pretty much it for the 3D pie chart. Moving on, let's say you have data like this. So here we have sales data and these are the different channels or sources of sales. So we have promotion one is 25%. Another promotion gave us 27% of sales. Direct sales are responsible for 24% of sales. Word of mouth is 14%. And there is this other. Now, other includes all these three sources. So offline referrals and loyalty coupons together give us these this 10%. Now, if we wanted to show this kind of data, pi of pi chart is very useful. So let me show you how you can show this data using pi of pi. To create pi of pi chart, go to insert, click on chart, under pi, select this third option from left, click OK. Let's move this chart left a bit. Now in the data sheet, 
we need to copy the first four rows as it is. Now, instead of entering other as an option here, what we need to do is just copy paste what's included in other and paste it here. Let's enable our data labels so we can see. Let me change the font size and font colors so we can see better. Now here you will notice that promotion one is 25%, promotion two is 27. We have direct sales here. Word of mouth is 14%. And our other option got automatically taken care of by this pie chart. So we have 10% for the combination of our other options, which is offline, referrals, and loyalty coupons. So whenever you have data like this, where one of the categories contains many other categories, which are small enough that you cannot show them as a part of the main chart, a pie of pie chart can be a very good chart to represent such information. One potential issue you could run into is when you are trying to move around the categories. So let's say that you wanted offline to be part of your left hand side chart and the new other needed to include just referrals and loyalty coupons. So something like this, I have moved offline here and the new other now includes referrals and loyalty coupons. Now our data sheet remains exactly the same. There's nothing you can do here that will allow you to change this chart. The way you change this is you double click on the chart on the right hand side, you'll see this option called split series by position and underneath that you have values in second plot. So this is where you can control how many values you need shown in our second chart. So in our case, we just need two values to be shown. So let me reduce this by one to two and you'll notice that our offline category has now moved on to our left hand side chart. Now the values are still there, but because the pie sizes are small, the data labels got moved outside of the chart. So let me just change the font color to black. Same with this chart. So this is one example I've seen in real life. So here we have OPEC versus non-OPEC data. Now within OPEC, this is the breakdown of oil reserves by each country. And here you have absolute values of this chart. Next let's make bar of pie chart now bar of pie chart is very similar to our pie of pie chart except that the second chart on the right is a vertical stack bar chart instead of a pie chart so i'm just going to copy the same data for this chart let me first make a bar of pie chart by going to insert chart under pie click on the fourth option from left click ok now let me go back to our original data I'm just going to copy these tables there so we can copy and paste these easily. So I'm going to copy the first four, paste it like so, then take offline, paste it here next, take referral and loyalty coupons, paste them next. Let's enable our data labels and format them. And there, just like that, we were able to create a bar of pie chart. Now for the final chart, which is the donut chart. This is similar to our regular pie chart. So I'm just going to use the same values that we had for a pie chart. Let me just create a donut chart. Let's go to chart, pie, select the last option. Let me just move this. I'm going to close the data sheet, then go to the data of our regular pie chart, copy the data, paste that into our donut chart, make adjustments with the data labels. We don't need the pie chart now, so I'm going to delete that. Let's move this chart in the center. The only different thing about this chart from a regular pie chart is we have this hole here that we can change the size of. So let me double click. You'll see that we have a new option that's appeared here called donut hole size. If I increase the hole size, our segments become thinner. If I decrease this hole size, our segments become thicker. 
So depending on your project, you can play around with this and see what works better. We have this empty space here in the center. So we can use this space by including an icon. So I'm going to go to insert, click icons, search for human. And let's say we go with this icon. Okay, put that in the center color this to a lighter gray say and there our donut chart is ready now if you compare this to a plain pie chart i think you would agree that a donut chart looks much more visual and appealing compared to a, a regular pie chart so whenever you have a chance i would recommend you try a donut chart first but if you are short of time i can understand if you just want to go with a vanilla pie chart so that covers all of our pie charts in powerpoint I have left timestamps for each of the pie charts in the description so feel free to jump around and refer to any of these pie charts in any order. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like and subscribe for future videos and I will catch you next time.